This is part 98 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between WHERE and HAVING clauses in SQL Server. For the examples in this video, we'll be using the SALES table. I've already created this table. Here is the SQL script to create and populate it with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. This sales table is going to have an entry for every sale that we make. If you look at the data that we have here, notice we have sold iPhone twice, laptop twice, and speakers once. Now we want to write a query that's going to calculate the total sales by product. So the result of that query should be like this. Selling iPhones, we made $1,500, laptops $1,400, and speakers $400. We can very easily achieve this using a group by query. We want to calculate total sales by product. So we are using group by on this product column. Since we want the total sale amount, we are using the sum aggregate function on the sale amount column. So this query is going to produce this result. I've already typed this query. So when we execute this, we should get the total sales by product. Now, we want to find only those products where the total sales is greater than $1,000. That means we want to filter this speakers group. We can very easily achieve this using having clause. Let's look at that in action. So I am going to use the having clause and we want to filter based on this total sales column. And if you look at what is producing data for this total sales column, it is this expression right here, sum of sale amount. So I'm going to use the same expression and specify our condition greater than 1000. So when we execute this, we should get only those products where the total sales is greater than 1000. So here we're using the having clause with sum aggregate function to filter the groups. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we use the WHERE clause instead of HAVING? Look at this. When I execute it, we get the syntax error straight away. So this is one of the primary difference between WHERE and HAVING clauses. WHERE clause cannot be used with the aggregates, whereas HAVING can be used with the aggregates. There are other differences as well. WHERE clause filters rows before aggregate calculations are performed, whereas HAVING clause filters rows after aggregate calculations are performed. Let's understand what we mean by this. Now we want to calculate total sales of iPhone and speakers. So we know the products already. We want to compute the total sales you know, for those two products. There are two ways we can achieve this. We can achieve this either by using WHERE or HAVING clause. Let's look at that in action. So I'm going to use the WHERE clause here and we want to compute the total sales for iPhones and speakers. So WHERE product in iPhone comma speakers. So when we execute this, notice that we get the total sales for our iPhone and speakers. Now we can achieve the same thing using HAVING as well. So I'm going to make a copy of this query and then use having instead of where. Now let's execute these two queries. Look at that, we get the same result. Now what is the difference between these two queries? Now with the first query, this is going to filter all the rows. It is going to retrieve only iPhone and speaker rows and then it's going to perform the aggregate calculation that is sum. Whereas with having here, it's going to retrieve all the products it's going to perform the aggregate calculation on all the products and then it's going to filter the groups. So clearly we can see that we have a performance impact when we use having clause. So from a performance standpoint, having is going to be slower than where and should be avoided when possible because having here is just going to filter the groups whereas where filters you know all the rows it only gets iPhones and speakers and then performs the aggregation on those two products whereas in this case it performs the aggregation for all the products and then filters iPhones and speakers groups okay so having is definitely slower than where in this case and should be avoided so let's quickly recap the differences. 
where clause cannot be used with aggregates whereas having can this means where clause is used for filtering individual rows whereas having clause is used to filter groups where comes before group by this means where clause filters rows before aggregate calculations are performed having comes after group by this means having clause filters rows after aggregate calculations are performed. So from a performance standpoint, having is slower than where and should be avoided when possible. There are also situations where you can use where and having clauses together in a select query. In this case, where clause is applied first to filter individual rows. The rows are then grouped and aggregate calculations are performed. And then the having clause filter the groups. So let's look at an example of using where and having together. So here we are saying, you know, this is going to retrieve the sum of iPhone and speakers. Now, let's say we want only that product group where the total sales is greater than $1,000. If that's the case, I can use having and use our aggregate function sum of total, I mean, sale amount greater than 1000 so when we execute this now we should only get the iphone row because that's the only row where total sales is greater than 1000 so in this query we're using both the where and having clauses thank you for listening and have a great day